Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I'm, I'm going to introduce myself to you. I'm, as Nick said, my name is Stephen Hook, and I'm an organic dairy farmer from East Sussex, and I farm with my dad. We, we've been tenant farmers for a few years, and the family has farmed in East Sussex for 250 years, uh, building empires and losing them, basically. And uh, anyway, we w- became organic in 2000, and uh, we looked at selling our milk directly to the public, by forming a group of uh, a, a co-op with other farmers and processing our own milk. And we costed, for example, we costed a contract with Budgeons. Budgeons wanted milk delivered to their stores in the southeast of England, uh, palletised up for the separate shops. We cost it at £2 per gallon for different size bottles of milk and so on. And uh, we then added 10% as our margin, so we went into £2.20 per gallon. And uh, Dairy Crest got it at £2.00. No value in it at all. We're trying to take risks, trying to create something for ourselves. And for me, that taught a valuable lesson. The moment that milk is pasteurised, it becomes a cheap commodity. And what really annoys me massively is that the story is lost that the farmers got and the supermarkets and, the, and, and those with huge buying power, have really, they're really killing the dairy industry at the moment. Um, the milk price that I get as an organic producer today, I get 28 pence per litre. When I converted to organic production in 2000, I was being paid 31 pence per litre. My neighbours who sell milk, conventional milk to Tesco's at the moment are being paid 30 pence per litre. They're getting more for their conventional milk than I get for my organic at the moment. And my cost of production is about 35 pence per litre. I'm losing big time at the moment. So that was a massive reason why we decided to start looking at selling raw milk. The more I researched it, I've always loved the taste of raw milk, but as I researched raw milk, I realised I could sell it. There was a legal way that I could sell it. And secondly, I learned some amazing things about it. For example, historically, you could have a bucket of raw milk and put meat in it, and that preserved the meat. It was used as a meat preservative. And the way that worked is it's fantastic. You won't believe it. The cream rises to the top, And after a few days, it forms a physical seal. It goes hard. That's the first thing, a physical barrier. The second thing is, all the good bacteria rise up with the cream. It sticks to the fat particles. So you've got a good layer of good bacteria forming the second defence, a biological one. The third thing is that after about seven days to a week, the milk starts to form its own lactic acid. It turns sour. That's the third thing. It It pickles itself. What an amazing product as it comes out of the cow. That is the amazing product that we produce brilliantly in England. We've got one of the best climates in Wales and England for producing dairy products. And yet we get paid the lowest amount in Europe for our milk. It is absolutely bonkers. We've got stuff coming into this country and we've got dairy farmers in this country packing up left, right and centre. Noise me, as you can probably tell. Anyway... One of the great things about selling raw milk directly to the public is that I, as a farmer, I'm connecting with with you, the consumer. And that bridge has really been eroded over time. It's really been lost. I'll give you some examples. We had a 14-year-old boy who came on a farm and did some work experience. He came into the milking parlour with me. I said to him, hold out your hand, and he held his hand out like that. I had the cow's teeth and squirted a jet of milk straight into the palm of his hand, and he said, oh, it's cold. He thought it was going to come out of fridge temperature. It doesn't, it's a body temperature it's from the cow. Another lad, seven-year-old, we had a group of 30 children, and Dad asked these 30 children, where do you think milk comes from? And they said, Tesco's, make it, it's made in a the factory, these sorts of things. And one boy said that it comes out of a cow, and Dad said, that's good. What part of the cow do you think it comes from? And this boy said, well, you hold the towel and pump the towel and the milk comes out. So what's good about doing what we're doing, selling raw milk straight to the public, we're really getting that communication back about the way that we produce our, our, our food. And the public, they love that. They want to re-engage and understand the story about how their food is produced and what happens at farm level. So that's 
from my point of view, I'm getting a better margin selling a product that I totally believe in and I'm very, very, very happy to sell because I believe in it so much. And it's great not just to get the high milk price for the raw milk that we sell, but also to have that positive feedback. People who come back and say to me, thank goodness you're selling it. It's been a lifesaver. I've got cystic fibrosis and your raw milk is helping build my immunity up again. My five-year-old son, he had a growth on, the, on his neck the size of a tennis ball and antibiotics wouldn't touch that bad bacterial growth that he'd got. And within three months of having your milk, the bacteria in the milk had sorted it out. It had gone. So stuff like that, the, 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 the feedback that we get as a producer like that makes it so, so worthwhile. It makes me feel rewarded as a farmer again. Thank you for your time. Thank you.